As early as the 1850s, baseball was already nicknamed the nation's pastime. The history of baseball in America stretches far, and Binghamton is part of that history. Baseball in Binghamton dates back as early as the 1880s with the Binghamton Bingos, a team that played in the area until 1919. Not more than a few years after the Bingos left, they were replaced by the Binghamton Triplets. The Triplets' reign started in 1923, and they called Johnson City their home until 1968. In their time here, the Triplets won 10 league championships with the help of baseball legends like Whitey Ford and Thurman Munson. The current official scorer for the Binghamton Mets and a member of the 1953 world champion New York Yankees, Steve Crayley, went 19-2 for the Triplets in that same year. The Triplets left the area after the 1968 season, taking baseball with them, but not its tradition in Binghamton. Finally, on April 16, 1992, the Binghamton Mets were scheduled to open the first professional baseball season in Binghamton in nearly 25 years, and fans were lined up downtown for opening day tickets. The line stretched from the front of the Metro Center on Henry Street, down State Street, onto Court Street, and wrapped around onto Water Street. Along with the emergence of a new team and a new stadium, Binghamton groomed rising stars such as Bobby Jones and Brooke Fordyce, who promptly brought the Binghamton Mets their first Eastern League championship in their inaugural year. In 1994, Edgardo Alfonso, otherwise known as Fonzie, became a major contributor for the B-Mets while leading the team in home runs and RBIs. The Mets had other great hitting contributions in 1994, including Jeff Berry, Frank Jacobs, and Chris Saunders. Another rising star was Ray Ordonez, a promising young player who signed as an undrafted free agent. The pitching staff in 94 was not to be overlooked. They were led by Juan Castillo, Robert Person, and Chris Roberts. They also had Bill Pulsifer and Jason Isringhausen that year, two of the three highly regarded prospects known as Generation K. The other prospect, Paul Wilson, would join the team in 1995. The Mets went 82-59 in 1994 and won the Eastern League Championship for the second time in their first three years in Binghamton. In Game 2 of the EL Championship, Bill Pulsifer tossed a no-hitter, shutting out the Harrisburg Senators 2-0. Chris Roberts threw a complete game in the fourth and final game of the series to bring the Eastern League trophy back to Binghamton. And the 1-2 pitch is swung on and missed! And in 1994, there is nobody better than your Binghamton Mets! 1995 to 1997 saw the rise of stars like Benny Ogbayani, Brian Daubuck, Jay Payton, Corey Lytle, and Preston Wilson. In 1998, Binghamton was led by Terrence Long, Octavio Dotel, and Nelson Figueroa and went an impressive 82-60, finishing second in the division. In 2000, the B-Mets featured the great hitting of Ty Wigginton and Mike Kincaid. Outstanding pitching was provided by Dickie Gonzalez, Tyler Walker, and Jared Riggin. They helped tally another 82-win season. It was enough to take first place in the North Division, but they fell short in the playoffs. In 2002, Jose Reyes, the New York Mets all-star shortstop, was an up-and-coming prospect. Reyes was promoted to Binghamton after spending three months with the single-A St. Lucie Mets. In his first game in Binghamton, Reyes had five hits and four RBIs and completed the season with a 287 average, 27 steals, and 26 extra base hits in 65 games. Jason Bay also had a brief stint with Binghamton that year and managed to compile 13 steals and 31 hits in only 34 games. On August 2, 2003, Bob Keppel tossed the B-Mets' first regular season nine-inning no-hitter against the Portland Sea Dogs. That evening, Keppel faced 30 Portland batters striking out one while allowing three walks, and the B-Mets won 3-0 in one of the most memorable nights in B-Mets history. David Wright came to Binghamton in 2004 as a highly touted prospect. In 2003, Wright had won the Sterling Award for Best Player with the St. Lucie Mets. In only 60 games in Binghamton, Wright hit 10 home runs, drove in 40 runs, and had an astounding 363 average. He quickly rose from AA Binghamton to the major leagues in 2004, where he joined Jose Reyes as two anchors in the Mets lineup to this day. 2005, Binghamton saw Mike Jacobs smash 25 home runs and drive in 93 runs while batting a solid 321. Brian Bannister and Lastings Millage also made a mark on the team that season. In 2006, Mike Pelfrey began the season on the St. Lucie Mets before being promoted to Binghamton. While playing for Binghamton, he was 4-2 with a 271 ERA and struck out 77 batters in 66 and a third innings. 
prior to the 2007 season, the Binghamton Mets added a brand new state-of-the-art video board, beginning a new era at Nice Egg Stadium. May 23rd of 2007 brought an unusual baseball occurrence when the BMATs turned a triple play and hit a grand slam in the seventh inning of the same game. The 2008 BMATs were led by Mike Cart, Nick Evans, Dan Murphy, Bobby Parnell, and Jonathan Neese. It was also a busy year for the New York Met players on rehab stints. Ryan Church, Orlando Hernandez, or El Duque, Luis Castillo, and Billy Wagner all made appearances in Binghamton while on rehab assignments. On July 17, 2008, the BMET set a single game attendance record with 7,412 fans enjoying Irish and First Responders Night. In 2009, Ike Davis, Ruben Sahada, and Josh Tolley all made a name for themselves in Binghamton. All three have seen time with the New York Mets, with Tolley and Davis starting for the Mets this season at catcher and first base. In 2010, Tim Tuffle, a member of the 1986 World Series champion New York Mets, took over as manager for Binghamton. He received strong contributions from key prospects Kirk Neuenheis, Zach Lutz, and Josh Stinson. Binghamton's rich baseball history continues in the BMET's 20th season with new manager Wally Backman, who was also a part of the 1986 World Series Mets. The success of the BMETs club is all made possible by the fans who come out every year to see the next big leaguers and great in-game entertainment. The Binghamton Mets would like to thank all fans who have supported the BMETs throughout the past 20 seasons.